All right, hey guys, what about Amy Obi here? Uh, we are playing TGC Tours Dream Team Contest Courses. In this one, we're going to play Top of the City Proper by Seb K. He's part of Team Rhino. One of the five, six teams. Let me see how many I get off my head. I'm Maddie from Canada is a tech captain. Rhino's a captain. Petty's a captain. Ben's a captain. I'm missing two. Two teams. I'm missing two of them. Pithy, yeah, okay. And Scottish. All right, so those are your six captains. Who did this? Who did this um, plot? So it's six teams of four. Uh, one of the opposing captains creates a plot. You have to use that plot to create your course. And uh, and then you make a course. This is Seb K's. Seb is a good Canadian boy. Uh, he creates a lot of great courses. And, and he usually pisses me off with some things on his courses too. And I think he does it on purpose. I think he, I think he genuinely thinks... All right, I'm going to create a really good course. Now, What what's going to piss Wayne off? And then he goes, okay, let's do that. I know that in this course, there's something that will I will not be happy with. So, good job, Seb. Oh, and this is console. Okay, well, then that changed everything. So every, there's six designers in the contest that are on console instead of PC. And those six got an aerial view of a, of a plot and the restrictions you can see on your screen right now. Um, this looks a little template-y. Okay, first of all, is that crap out of bounds? No. No templates? I mean, I, I, I do know that geometric doesn't mean necessarily template, but it's got some, a template look to it. That tree's close. Um, Pat and uh, Seb are on, Pat and Seb are on the same team, so I think everything you see, Pat is going to say it's amazing, which is one of the fun things about Dream Team. Uh, is the, the team banter aspect of it. So it, it's a lot of fun to watch from the sidelines. Uh, and Seb's not known for his conservative course design either. And we've seen that right away. Could you make this screen any bigger, Seb? It's curious. And this is a template course. You guys can get lost. There's a nice castle there. Give you that. Gigantic bunker. That thing in the middle. I forget what this volcano-y thing is called. Lindsay, honey, have you had any of those halls things? When was the last time? You should probably have one now. Poor thing's just hacking away. And if you're watching on YouTube and you're wondering, what am I talking about? Well, my daughter's home and she is sick. I think she has the flu. Thumbprint. Okay. Um, how far do I have to that next bunker? 340. Eh, I can be tempted. Oh, we slowed the crap out of it, though. Oh, no. Bounce. All right, well, I don't know if we were getting there in two anyways. So, not the end of the world. The Great Hazard. I love how it still sounds like you drop kick it half the time when you hit iron shots. Uh, this isn't going to be fun. 
Glad the greens are 155 and not 175. Oh, your March break was last. Like our March break is next week. But yeah, she's um, she she started. She went to school Monday, and then woke up Tuesday morning and was just like, not feeling good at all, and still isn't. And her mom's sick with something else, so I don't know what's going on. Nice willow. Is Charlie judging? Oh, I wish the wind was helping. But we're just going to bunt one out here. This one feels a little too straightforward. Now, I'm sure the second shot will make me wish I hadn't say, said that, but... Yeah, this is a little breather hole. <laughs> and then we're, oh my goodness. Any danger of having a fairway here? Uh-oh. Well, this hole's going to be a little difficult. At least it's just light rough. Oh, I thought the rough would hurt it more than that. That's going a long way. Into the rough. Ah. So those two holes together are kind of like par seven ish. Like you'd expect a birdie and a par out of them. Yeah, principal's notice, and I caught that one. And then long ass par five again. Jesus Christ, look at that green. So, there may be a waypoint issue here. It's suggesting I pitch the ball now. And then, of course, you've, you've put the trouble left, which is where I always miss. So that's that's lovely. So let, let me see if I'm understanding this. The green is essentially unreachable. Unless you have a massive wind behind you. Even then, it's you're going to have to crap. You're going to have to hit it really good twice, right? So you're expecting a wedge and you've given the gr a green that, you know, Trump's estate would fit on. I 
Ah. So what's the format for this thing? Because normally the dream team was kind of like a Ryder Cup, right? Kind of a mindless tee shot. Don't come up short. Don't go left either. Uh, is the wind going to carry this enough? It did, but apparently it went left, so. Oops. <laughs> okay. There's no reason that driver. Not that that's a bad thing. There's just, I'm thinking it as I'm about to hit the club. There's no point. So what's the uh, what's the story behind the name, the course of the name, Ugh. the name of the course? I mean, oh, that might be hit with some ferocity. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I swear I'm kind of going with that, old man. Like what what's. Well, we can't get there. But I want to see what happens when I don't get there. Well, if we push it, it actually ends up not being too bad, I don't think. always do that I always do that partial chips I never hit them hard enough I figure out how hard I need to hit it and then I don't hit it hard enough top of this oh okay cool like Toronto Would it be possible to have a par 5 that isn't directly into the wind at 600 yards? Curious. Leaving me 312. No? Okay. Thought I'd ask. Strava. What's Strava? I, I, I don't know Toronto real well. I mean, I live two hours away, but I don't know it. Oh my goodness. Um Oh, I got you. I got you. Um that's a pretty good shot, I think, isn't it? You know. On this Maiden or whatever the hell green it is. Ooh, flat bunker looks cool. Uh, 
All right. You want to be a bit left. Is this meant to be kind of like a... Like an upscale... Well, yeah, kind of an upscale muni kind of thing. You know, something that was built 100 years ago, but... Isn't private? Yeah? Okay. Yeah, you've got that nailed, I think. Ooh, ruin over there. Cool. No! Ugh. Hmm. What? What one? What? What? What template could this one be? I wonder. With a fish and chip shop there too. Hmm. Only I could put my finger on it. What is this one? Goals to kill the children in the park. Oh, good. Oh. Oh, Mini Obi. Your expertise is required. The playground. It looks like the playground from the Okay. So the first school you ever went to? Is it a good playground? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Pretty good? Okay. What about soccer field? Mm -hmm. he, okay, she doesn't care about soccer. Oh, where are we? So Minnie Obi says it's a pretty good playground, so that's good. Oh, did, so I missed the windows. Let me go look at that. Oh, there's a pub here. Nice. Oh, so we got cod, paddock. Yeah, prices are really good. Tea, coffee, and soft drinks. Nice corner shop. The news agent, it's closed. I hope the price in the pub are as good as the fish. So you got a pub in the chippy right next door. Perfect. Well, that's my Friday night figured out. And there's the uh, overcompensating slow. Wait, is there a roll bunker here too? Oh, is there ever? Well, should have birded that. One night team that's downwind. Hmm. Not bad. Stay up. No, no. Ah! Um, I like the use of the hazard markers, even though the game doesn't respect them. I would love for TK25 to have that ability. Where you can actually create hazard areas, or sorry, penalty areas. Um, and then those, those stakes actually mean something. But given what we have right now, still, it's cool that they're there. Uh, hmm. I 
Oh, yeah, because you're not allowed to water, are you? In the, uh, it is part of the conditions. Uh, sure, why not? Hit it down the right side here. A little chip and putt, hopefully. Hmm, no, maybe not. Flopperoo. This is something else they need to figure out next game. The flop shot is a joke. But well played. You got to funnel into the damn reritz this time. Land called for it. Did land call for a massive false front too? Oh God, I'm so upset about the Beerits that have done this. Traditional shoot, okay. Beerits. I mean, that's essentially lost you the contest right there, putting a Beerits in it. Oh, I slowed this, and that's going to be bad. I have the entire world to the left, and I miss it. Well, that feels shame. All right. Well, damn. Oh, whatever. I was coming out of the sand. That ball's going to be spinning like crazy. Just wanted to build a beard. <laughs> Hold the hell out of that. Still winning. When I mean, you got that kind of skill, you can do these things. Uh, stay in the fairway. I mean, we might fluke. But we might fluke an angle here. Whoa! 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 Like I said, might fluke an angle here. Oh. Nice looking clubhouse. I mean, you've done what you wanted to do here, and it's really cool. I'm giving you grief about all the template-y stuff, because that's how I roll. And that's not good. Yeah, it's true. All right. Pretty um, uneventful round of golf there. Six birdies, 12 pars. How long was this? It was 7,200? It's, um, it's Seb doing Seb things is what this is. Great, great design. Um, great, you know, use of everything. Seb gets a little creative at times. That's how he rolls. And uh, he ends up creating courses that are memorable. That's for sure. Uh, which is not a bad thing. Uh, I think that in Dream Team, you want to be you want the course to be memorable because there's going to be so many great courses. Um, 
that you don't want it to be boring. You don't want it to be something where people are like, oh yeah, what was, what was that top of this? What was that one? I don't remember that course. I mean, people are going to remember this. Uh, and they're gonna, for the most part, they're going to remember it for good reason. Um, the templatiness is, it's there. I don't know if it's overdone. I don't think it's overdone. Um, I think it's done with some, some restraint, especially for sub. <laughs> so, um, yeah, it was enjoyable. Uh, I think overall it's, it's well done. So good job, Seb. Appreciate it. Um, for those watching on YouTube, like subscribe, do all those things, help the algorithm a ton. Uh, might get me putting more videos out because I've been struggling lately. So tell me you want more videos and I will give them to you. Probably. Maybe we'll see. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.